Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lordess Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of February the 12th through to the 18th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Emperor in the upright, followed then by the Three of Swords reversed. Next, we have... Um, the Hermit in the Upright, followed then by the Eight of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the Upright. You have three Major Arcana here. Could be a little bit of an intense week for my Pisces. So the Emperor is your overall energy. The Emperor is uh, represented represented by the father, the father figure, grandfather, the uh patriarch of the family can also represent someone in a powerful position. Now this could be you uh, wielding your power this week, Pisces, uh, but this could be somebody you're dealing with, someone in a very powerful position who could be taking notice of you and perhaps if you need this person's assistance, they're kind of giving you the go ahead to just, you know, nudge them. I can give you a hand. I can help you. Now, whether this be your actual father or grandfather, or uh, this is like the CEO of a company or something like that, um, very powerful energy. So this also represents control. So there could be a need to keep a level of control over something. Now, it could be you yourself embodying the energies, or you could be the emperor this week who is trying to keep control over a situation. Maybe you're in a powerful position who's trying to aid or help somebody else, but you are, or you could be dealing with somebody like that. This could be a boss or family member or friend or somebody uh, at work, could be a business partner or something like that. Now remember, just take what makes sense in your scenario. These are general reads, so just take what makes sense, whichever scenario makes sense to you. Uh, coming into the week, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse position, indicating healing from a situation where there was some sorrow, sadness, could have been a breakup, could have been loss. Um, disappointment. Sometimes this can indicate, you know, uh, in a love relationship that goes wrong due to a third party situation. It can sometimes indicate, um, you know, loss. It could be loss of someone in your life. It could be loss of a pet. It could be anything like that. It could be loss of a job that caused great hurt and disappointment. Loss of your best friend. When the card is inverted, this is where we are starting to heal from said situation. So it's good. It's beautiful healing energy. And the next card you have is the Virgo energy, the uh, hermit in the upright position, pointing to a need to go within. Now, the hermit goes within for many reasons. Oftentimes, this will come up for, say, students who are uh, cramming for exams and they need to hit the book. So they need to pull back from everybody and just concentrate and focus. But Sometimes the, the, that is the case. Maybe some of you Pisces are focusing in. Maybe you're taking a course or you're doing something that requires full focus. But for others of you, this could be a need to go within, sometimes to do some work on the self. Sometimes we need to pull back so we can figure out what's going on deep within ourselves and our subconscious. Others, Other times the hermit comes up for when we are doing research on something, like say for example, we want to work for a certain company. Maybe we need to really delve into the, the background of this and know the ins and outs of it. Maybe um, you need to do your research because you're an independent journalist or something. Whatever the reason may be, you need to pull back for a little period of time to really, really put your focus in on something. And moving towards the weekend, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse position. Well, it could be that this information you're delving into could set you free because the Eight of Swords in the upright position is where we feel trapped. Sometimes it's trapped by our own mind that keeps ruminating, going around and around and around. And it's making us feel like there's no way out. There's no escape. Sometimes it can be other people who are chiming in and uh, throwing their two cents in there, making the matters even worse, making us feel even further trapped. Sometimes the Eight of Swords can legit be about a situation that is confining you. 
Now, that being confined can be from anything, from incarceration to being confined to uh, a hospital bed to being confined to uh, a, a job that you can't stand but you can't leave it at the moment because you need the money. There's a relationship that makes you feel suffocated. There's all kinds of reasons for that. But when the card is inverted, this is where we kind of find uh, an escape hatch. We're finding a way out of these restrictive energies. Now it could be for some of you the Emperor is helping you to find a way out. If this is a powerful friend, boss, or somebody like that in your life, this could be somebody who's aiding and helping you to get out of this energy. Others of you, this could be you yourself due to your own research. You figured out how to get out of a restrictive situation. So you just pull back, you either figured it out on your own or you did some research and you knew exactly what to do to release yourself from that situation. And the last card you have here, Pisces, is the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy in the upright position, indicating a contract. This could be a contract being signed. This is on the weekend. This could be a big commitment for some of you. It could be a commitment uh, in many different ways. I mean, the Hierophant can indicate anything from just wanting to do things the traditional way, such as get married as opposed to live in, or it could be wanting to get involved in a new spiritual group or a new religious group. This could be, you know, a new congregation that you commit to, a church you commit to. It can also govern signing contracts, maybe for a new place. It could be signing contracts for a new job. Um, especially, I feel it has more significance when we're dealing with um, such as, you know, the education system. If you work for uh, government or the, uh, uh, academics or something like that, this could be a term position being offered to you and you're committing to it. You're signing on the dotted line. For others of you, you're committing to simply a new way of life and a new way of doing things, uh, embracing that. And uh, let us know in the comment section below. It looks like there's something going on here, Pisces. Like there's a healing energy, but then it's like you're withdrawing here for something. You're going within to try to figure something out and it helps to release you. And then it's like you're commit. Oh, maybe you were in a contract that uh, some of you could have been in a contract or a commitment that you have released yourself from because you needed to commit to something else. That could be the case for some of you. Again, let us know in the comment section below. But uh, that's what I have for you. Interesting reading here, Pisces. I hope you have a fabulous week. And um, don't forget to leave that comment because uh, I want to know what's going on with my Pisces. <laughs> Um, don't forget to join us for Star Lotus podcast on the weekends. Uh, just check the channel for dates and times and stuff. And you can join us live here on the channel. It's always 7 p.m. Central. So just check the date. It's varying. This week it's on Saturday. Next week it's going back to Sunday. So just check on that if you want to come and join us. But uh, Thank you so much for joining me today for this reading, and I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.